Semantic Recall enables your agent to store and effectively remember information from past chat messages, even if they occurred across different threads. It's a type of long-term agent memory, and it works by storing all messages in a vector database. When you submit a prompt, semantically relevant messages are retrieved and included in the context window, providing the model with more relevant knowledge to help it respond accurately and provide more personalized interactions over time. Let's take a look at semantic recall in action. If my description sounded at all abstract, a demo will make it concrete. Along the way, you'll learn more about where semantic recall can fit in your memory architecture and get a glimpse into how it works behind the scenes. We'll also explore the three key parameters for semantic recall and how to dial in the right values based based on your product's goals. This is a personal assistant agent with semantic recall enabled. A while ago, I was chatting away with the agent, lamenting about how I took my old manager, Nick, to a Portuguese chicken place for dinner, but it was a terrible mistake because he's vegetarian. The poor guy ended up having just a salad. Then I got to prompting about some uh, personal messages. Anyway, some time has now passed. It could be minutes, it could be weeks, it could be months. And now in a new thread, I asked the agent, where should I take my old boss for dinner? Because semantic memory is enabled, the agent remembered that Nick is my old boss and that he's a vegetarian. Notice, by the way, how last time I mentioned Nick, I called him my manager and I referenced lunch. This time I said boss and dinner. How did the agent make that connection in its memory, even though the terms I used differ? Well, this feature is called semantic recall. Semantic means the memory is based on what something means, even if the exact wording or phrasing differs. For example, boss and manager are different words, but they have similar meanings. They have the same vibe, so they're semantically related. And this is what semantic recall is all about. It's not just about remembering facts, but about understanding how you interpret them so future responses reflect that shared understanding, very much like a person would if I told them my relationship to Nick or the fact that Nick is a vegetarian. The other way this reminds me of human intelligence is how the agent inferred relevant knowledge from past interactions without being explicitly told to remember it or asked to retrieve it. You might be wondering how semantic memory works. First of all, every message that goes through the agent, be that a user input or a response from the model, is converted to an embedding vector and stored in your preferred vector database. When you submit a prompt, the agent queries the database to find semantically relevant messages from the chat history. I happen to know these results are sorted chronologically before they're injected into the system instruction, which means they're included in the context window. Search for the agent can generate a more accurate and coherent response. To enable semantic memory for your agent, reference for documentation. It will guide you to enable memory, set up a vector database and enable an embedding model. You'll end up with something like this. Once you're all set up, there are three important options you can tune. The first is scope, which determines whether to search for memories within the current thread or across all threads owned by a resource. Typically, that means the user. We recommend setting the scope to resource unless you have a strong reason to limit it to a single thread. For most agents, you'll get the best results this way. Top K and message range are sliding scales that work together to control how much information is retrieved from memory and included in the context window. Top K is a term from the machine learning world. And in this context, it refers to how many semantically similar messages should be retrieved. Message range controls how much surrounding context to include with each of those messages. So if top K is set to one, the semantic search will retrieve at most one matching message. If message range is set to one, the agent will also include one message before and one message after the matched message. If message range was set to two, the agent would retrieve two messages before and two messages after and so on and so forth. It's a sliding scale and there is no right answer. Maybe a top K of five and a message range of two is a good place to start, but it will depend on your application, the model you're using, and the nature of your chat data. The name of the game here is pulling the most relevant information into the context window without introducing 
context rot, which is where pulling in too much, especially too much irrelevant or disparate content can cause the LLM performance to degrade. You might not really be expecting that because you're pulling in only semantically relevant messages, but some models are more sensitive and it's going to depend on your data as well. So it's all about finding that fine balance.